quick base tutorial and review hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to give you a tutorial and a review of quickbase.com what is this platform how you can use it for project management or is it any good for your business or not so let's get into the video so first of all here is the quickbase.com i have just opened this platform and this is their main page so here you can see that success in 2023 simplicity is the key remove fragmentation from your workflows and turn your sluggish silos into one efficient ecosystem no with all success so quickbase is a really good platform for project management work order management budget and finance resource management subcontractor management portfolio management contract management and site selection and evaluation so these are all the things that quickbase covers and there are also a lot of features that you can use for your business to maintain a very quick and very easy workflow and also to take a step ahead of everything and to monitor everything from a very good angle so how you can get started with free uh, with quickbase it's very easy what you can do is just click on this option which says start free trial or sign in it's uh, both are the same so you can just go on and start your free trial on quickbase i'm just going to do that and then i'm going to continue by adding in my email my password etc and then i'll show you guys what are the next step okay so this is the main dashboard of quickbase here you can see that this is my apps so i'm just going to uh, these are all how to videos so if you want to learn quickbase basics get an app from exchange and tables etc you can just go on and start with these videos i'm just going to skip these videos so you can see that these are my apps so if you want to create a new app you can just click on this option and you can create a new app from quickbase.com build up an app from template start from scratch import a spreadsheet and import from lucid chart i'm just going to go on and skip that i'm just going on to the pipelines of quickbase Oh, because the pipelines are the things from which you can create you can basically manage the whole thing you can automate tasks between cloud-based services such as slack dropbox and mailchimp you can have pipelines can be edited at any time to correct the issues and also you can start a pipeline either on a schedule manually or by a trigger i'm just going to start building a pipeline on quickbase pipelines just going to wait until it loads because here you can see that these are my pipelines i don't have any pipelines yet so i'm just going to click on this option to create a new pipeline for that i have to add a name of that pipeline the new pipeline is it good to go then i have to add the description of the pipeline what is it about how uh, like if what is does and if, which project is the pipeline related to and after that i can just go on and search the tags for that specific pipeline i'm not going uh, entering any tags but depending upon the work that you're doing or the project you're working on you can add different tags for that pipeline i'm just going to create the pipeline okay so type of pipeline choose how you would like to the pipeline to be started and select your first few steps of your pipeline you can always add more steps so is it triggered is it schedule or you is it manual i'm just going to say that it is schedule depending upon the type of the task and everything i'm just going to have a scheduled pipeline then i have to create my workflow select your first step my first step is quick base okay and i am going to import with cv i'm going to create a record delete record search record look up make a request and i'm just going to add and upload a file prepare a bulk record upset so depending upon what you want to do i'm just going to see say that i'm going to uh, update record and the second is that i'm going to continue with uh, quick base and then i'm going to update the record or delete the record as well so this is my workflow you can create the first steps of your pipeline i'm going to add you can add new steps if you want to like for example this is the third step i'm just going to continue with quick base obviously and then i'm going to uh, let's say uh, add another step that can be i'm going to fetch a linked record or look up a record after this i'm going to click on next and this is how my workflow has been created my pipeline has been created i'm just going to click on next and here you can see that this is the start so start is the update record at least one field must be set then you have your delete record and then you have a look up your record drag a step here or insert a condition if you want to you can manage your pipeline from all of these options you have an option to return a record record one and you have all of these options that you can work on so it has no output yet and it has no uh, one record id uh, right now so these are uh, all your channels so you can work with all of these apps from quickbase and you can have all of your workflow at one place and you don't have to switch from app to app again and again and you can manage everything from quickbase this is the best thing that quickbase has that it allows you to have all of these apps integrated into one so let's go on to my apps and i'm going to let me show you how i can create a new app with quickbase 
base here you can see that this is the quick base and my apps in this and first of all if you want to create a new app i just told you you have to click on this option and then i'm just going to build from a template pick a common uh, use case to start and then add your own data this is what i'm going to do so i'm just going to add a like have a visual builder from which i'm going to create my app so what is this app going to do it is going to be managing projects for me i'm going to continue okay so here you can see that's projects expenses tasks and documents so the project app name is project tractor and description is we're building projects at our organization okay so now i can add table in this i can add text x i can add text multi-line i can add rich text multi-select text check boxes and there are a lot of other things that i can add so like for example these are all the projects and these are the tasks that are going to be done in the project these are all the documents associated with the doc uh, with the project and these are all the expenses that are going to be you know that are going to be expended with uh, along with this project so i want to add a duration of this project so the duration i have added is going to be let's say here okay so this is a relationship though it is good i'm just going to uh, i want to you know show fields in the table click to start table i'm going to add a relationship here so i'm just going to document connects to okay, so depending upon the you know situation i want to add duration into this as well so for that you have to drag it and drop it right anywhere and you can build a new relationship from this option right here and you can see that it connects to and you can choose anyone from it as you want so you can add in duration as well if you want to add something else you can just go on and do that as well so moving on to projects you can see that this is the table name is project and it has seven fields so if you want to delete any field any link of this you can just go on and delete that but i'm not going to de delete that right now so that's why it's going to be as it is then you have your description of the project what it is going to be and how you're going to work on it you can add all of the description right here you can also add different links and your url and file attachment in there as well and this is how you manage things on quickbase just after you are done with everything you can just click on this option which says create app and the app is going to be created of project management okay so here you can see that you got your project tracker app um, working now in the projects you have all of these projects that you can list to you can add more projects you can just click on this option and you can add a new project to it if you want to you have your project name you have description project manager status start date and date you have to add all of these fields and you got your project created then you have your expenses you can just go on and uh, track all of these expenses from this option right here default report reports and charts you're going to get your expenses and charts as well so here you can see that depositing a uh, deposit for the moving company deposit to book the convention center etc a total purchased by expense date etc then you have your tasks your tasks are going to be here the thing all the fields that we have added in quick base project tracker and the creation of the app are going are, are all displayed here and you can basically work in each one of them one by one it is really good the management in the quick base is really easy and it is going to be like the features are a lot that you can work with and you can basically go on and have everything at one place so i'm just going to if you want to add a new table you can just click on this and you can add new table from uh, um, among all these fields as well so as you have seen that all of these things are uh, the creation to management and to creating a pipeline everything so easy with quick base so that's why you can just go on and use that okay so you can just go on and continue and start a sign up yourself on quick base and you can buy their priced version because right now i'm using the free version that is going to end in 30 days so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you